Hello everyone, welcome back to Fire Ember M. Today. Today, as we have been doing the last couple of episodes, we are doing this desert map. And in the desert, in the desert, there are multiple places where things can be found hidden under the sand. Did you know? Did you know? Well, some people didn't. And that is exactly where I come in, because I'm here to collect everything from the desert. All the things. All the deserty goodnesses. All of them. And uh, to glean greatness from them, such is the case. Alright. So over here there should be a body ring. Uh, we found the body ring. Okay, now we're going to have to send something about. We'll send the body ring. Oh, that's... Wait. No, that's Khan. Okay. So there's a body ring down in basically these four slots. Let's next rescue you and take you over here, actually. And we can... No, we're not going to move over there yet. We'll move over here first. Move over here. I'll actually get someone to kill this freaking bandit who's just standing in the middle and causing no one any trouble, really, but... Um, I don't want to send Heath over there because he's got a freaking axe. Bad idea. I'll send Urk. Uh, though he doesn't really want to get experience. I'll go with Canis. You know what? I'll send Canis around here. Canis can get to him eventually and everything will be fine. Right? Good. Good. So, while we're doing this boring uh, part of everything, which is just me uh, trying to find stupid shit in the sand, I can tell you a story of what happened today. So, today I was eating breakfast. It was sausages in a bun. It was delicious with the ketchup. So after I'd eaten my breakfast, I come upstairs and um, go into my room and just sit there on the computer, you know, pissing around as usual. And, um, and I hear this giant crash, like this earth shattering crash from downstairs. I'm like, what the fuck is that? What the hell is going on? Uh, and I hear like my parents like going crazy and my sister like, oh my god, and some shit's going down. So I'm like, what the fuck just happened? So I run downstairs. I race down there. And what happens, it turns out, is that my dad had tried to put mustard into the fridge. But the mustard wasn't going in the fridge. No, it was not. It was, uh... It was just kind of very difficult for him to get it in there. Uh, and so, he basically tried to force it in. And in forcing the mustard into the fridge, he somehow managed to... And I know that I'm building this up because I... I'm trying to concentrate on two things at once, telling a story and doing a game, which is much more difficult than you would imagine. Uh, it turns out that the entire fridge door just comes off the hinge, falls to the ground and shatters every single bottle that was inside the fridge door, because our fridge door actually has like a compartments for stuff, so you can basically just um, put like jars and bottles in the side and uh, and you'll essentially be able to um, let's see store stuff there so that's basically what happened I go downstairs and there's just everything is on the floor like holy shit it was uh, it was a sight to behold you might say um, you might well say that but uh yeah, so that was ridiculous, and now our fridge is kind of fucked. Um, it's been fucked for a while though, like, this shit's not worked for a long time, and you know, it has its issues. But, that was most certainly like the final straw, as it were. Jesus Christ. Ah, okay. We're almost done here, in terms of collecting all the shit in the sand, anyway. Hopefully this will get me my last piece, which is the Eclipse. There we go. Um, I actually have the map right next to me, by the way. If you thought I had some kind of crazy memory as to where everything was in the sand. No, I just have the map on hand. And that's all the items, I believe. I believe that is all the items. 
so hopefully hopefully it is all the items now before we end the map I want to definitely heal everyone just to maximize on the amount of um, amount of experience that I can get so that's what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna heal everyone Ellie Wood doesn't need to be healed okay who does I need Urk needs healing Canis needs healing um, Sarah needs healing Heath needs healing and that is it okay so we'll, we'll concentrate on healing everyone this turn and then we shall try and assault Paul. Paul! We'll assault Paul! He sound like a good man to be assaulting. If you hear me. If you know what I am saying. He sound like a good man to be trying to do that on. I think so. Fuck. I can't heal myself, can I? But I can't heal other people. Other people like the Kenneth here. Who are good at the, the being healed, yeah. You're good at that. You're good at that. Um, this guy has a kill axe, but I'm not sure if he's going to move from his place. So we could try and get someone like Canis to potentially um, uh, attack him. Though there is the risk, of course, of shit hitting the fan in terms of shit hitting the fan, like Canis dying or something crazy. Oh look, I'm going to heal Sarah and then Sarah can heal me and then we're a happy family. Da 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 la la la, Urk and Sarah, la la la. Heal Urk. They are excellent indeed. Look at this brilliance. Okay, and finally Hector, I believe, needs healing, so. We'll do that, and I'm, I'm gonna Physic Hector. Even though it's one HP and I'm probably wasting a Physic, it gives me more experience. So, might as well get more experience here. As much as possibly can be had, or can be gotted. Begotted. Begotted. Indeed, such is the case. Alright, let's uh let's rush headlong into this assault. As it were. Let's have Florina on hand to attack if possible. Okay, and uh I want yes, all good. I think we're ready. I think we should be. We'll get Sarah here though, and Canis can go here. Alright, these are the people who I'm gonna attack him with. I don't really think I need Hector, maybe I do, but let's put him there just in case. Alright, now let us storm the pole. Storm the pole, level 8 warrior. Canis, you can start off the, the bidding with a cool. Uh, Lux of 12, or a Lunar of 14, or a Nosferatu of 15. Lunar is most likely to hit, we'll just go with that. Oh shit, he's critting! He's critting! Is Canis gonna take this man down? My lord, down to 5 HP, and gets hardly any experience for it. It's totally unfair. I kinda wanted to get a bit more experience from this man. Oh well. Hopefully this should do it. I'll get a bit of a Thundaris here with Urk and Oh my god, critting everyone today! What the fuck? Well, turns out that Urk cleans him out. I can't believe we lost, brother! Ah, it's a tragedy, Jasmine! Certainly is. Certainly is. Question is, did we get enough experience throughout this whole map? Did we get 700 EXP? Will we be able to do the next chapter? Who knows? We'll have to find out. You really help me out, thank you. We couldn't watch such a lopsided battle, that's all. So why have you come to this wasteland? Well, we were told to come here and meet a living legend. Living legend? Ha ha ha! I see, that's well said. But do you know what it means? Yes, I suppose I do. Looks like we share a common destination. Hawkeye, you're here too? But did you find it? That I did, and as I thought, it's spectacular. It's getting dark. Let's go back. Yes, let's make haste. Desert knights are treacherous. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Accept side quest. Yes, please. I guess we did get 700 experience. I don't mind going with you, but how far do we have to walk? No matter how far we go, there's just more sand. Whoa. Hector? What is it? Hect? Yeah. Hector Lindis? Where did those two? Huh? W what in blazes? I'm, I'm sinking into the sand. Oh my.
my god. If ever there was a cliffhanger, my friends, that would be such a cliffhanger. And there you have it. Fire Emblem, Chapter 22, Living Legend, has been completed, finished, done, and such is the case. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed Fire Emblem today. And next time we'll do the Gaiden Chapter 22X, which uh, is interesting. I'll say that much. And... Um, yeah, we'll, we'll be getting right on that next weekend. So I hope you guys uh, continue to support the series. You can comment if you like. You can leave a like if you like. That's always great and it helps me out. It does indeed. Uh, I'll see you guys next time on uh, the next episode of Fad Emblem. But until then, have a very nice day. And uh, I'll see you uh, another time. Goodbye.